Meeting new people can be awkward and intimidating. What are some simple and effective ways to keep the conversation going? I brought my friends here with me today. I'm Erin, this is Suzanne and Dion, and we've been performing improv for over a decade. So we wanted to share with you three principles of improv that'll help keep the conversation going. Point one, yes and. Being positive and agreeable is great, but it's simply not enough. If you're only agreeable, it can stall the conversation over and over and make you feel stuck. Do you know how much I love that you get all dressed up in your clown makeup to put on the ant circuit? <laughs> Do you realize that I got the idea from watching you watch the ants? <laughs> Adding to the conversation allows the other person to feel more comfortable sharing and it gives them something a little bit more to latch onto in the conversation. Which leads us to our second improv point, stop planning and listen. Yes, go into the interaction, open to whatever it may bring instead of going in with a set plan. Otherwise, you're stuck in your head just waiting for the other person to stop talking so you can make your point. <laughs> As we see in improv, all of the answers are in your partner. Listen and respond. It also makes it a lot easier for the other person to know that you give value to what they're saying. And that brings us to our third and final point, commit. Don't shrink away or act emotionally whenever things don't go perfectly as planned. Committing to a positive attitude makes you exude confidence and therefore the people that you're speaking to will feel comfortable in that interaction because you feel comfortable. <laughs> don't you remember a time before we were at through an ant circus and things were okay? Do you remember those days? Do you remember fourth grade like Gambit's just <laughs> So to recap, saying yes and, but not literally. Basically just staying positive and adding something to the conversation. Point number two, stop planning and listen. Go into a conversation open to where it may lead you. And point number three, commit to a positive attitude. So obviously there are a few more improv principles that might apply to your everyday conversations, but we wanted to give you a little sample. So maybe you've taken an improv class and you have an idea of something you'd like to share, drop down in the comments below. And as always, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm Erin. I'm Suzanne. I'm Dion. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>